we are in the boat getting ready for the next tournament and I got another package here some stuff that I ordered from Arsenal Fishing kind of a restock in terms of some new items it's kind of funny because I in that mode of the season I don't know if you guys get in this ever where like you kind of like orders stack up and you kind of forget what you bought well now we're going to open it up and share it with you so take our uh Personal scissors, open it up. Not just for cutting fishing line. Let's see what we got here. Invoice. All right, got some goodies. We got some stickers. We got a sticker on the boat. <clears throat> Maybe I'll have to get some of those. I got a whole bunch of the new Arsenal swim jigs. Check a look at this. Like this, a pile of those new Arsenal swim jigs. So these. Designed by Dan the Man, Dan Fabiano, are his, uh, his Arsenal Sniper Swim Jig. And he's got four colors. So there's this. So I ordered some in three eighths and some in quarter ounce. I'm probably, some of these are me and some of these I'm probably going to hand out on some of my streams or my members only. So if you don't check out my Wednesday night streams typically, they give away a lot of tackle. So these will be in a future giveaway. The four colors, basically... We've got this kind of this green bluegill color right there. And then you've got kind of your shad white, which is a typical color. And kind of this kind of orange gill crawdad color. And then kind of that black, blue, bruiser, purple. A little bit of purple. I like that. He's got nice, subtle color combinations going on here. Nothing too complicated, but just simple little, little mix of like tinsel and silicone. And I think nothing to do here but actually like so there's like there's a three-eighths white can it compared to a a quarter ounce in the the black and blue color let's open them up take a look at the hooks but i got a whole bunch of them i ordered like i like swim jigs so i'm not gonna bore you with all this but there's a pile of swim jigs some for me some for you guys let's take a look at these here open up this one here first I like the, you know, clamshell, but a real thin clamshell. I think you could actually like stack this into a deep 3600 and kind of keep them. So, you know, like fold this or cut this little tab off in a deep 3700, 3600, whatever. I think you could stack these in there and keep these nice here. But there it is in the, this is the quarter ounce. Kind of a light to medium wire hook. Pretty freaking sharp. It's got a double barb system on it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a double lead barb plus a wire. So that should be really good for keeping little trailers on there. And it's got a mixture of that kind of fine tinsel and silicone. It's, it's definitely a fine silicone. You should get a lot of movement out of that. Now let's grab a, uh, a 3 8 ounce, maybe in this black and blue color. Take a look at this. And the way these are set up, you can kind of like get these jigs out of the packaging. And then not that hard to slip them back in there and maybe actually reuse this. And there you can see the quarter round next to the three eighths. And the quarter looks really small. And I think it looks so small because there's so much weight here on the barb system. So it kind of keeps that, that weight more internal, it keeps it very compact. But there's the three eighths ounce. Looking pretty good. Same double barb system. You can kind of see you got that black and blue with a little bit of purple. Deadly on the river or in dirty stained water, I think. So pretty excited about those. What else is in the box? All right, got a pair of gloves because you've probably seen me in the videos. And I, I've been using these gloves now for a minute. And after three seasons, they're still mostly intact, but they're getting a little, little ratted up. And I still use them, and I'm still probably not going to throw them. I'll keep them in the boat. But they're wearing out a little bit, and I probably could wash them again. I've washed them a few times, but they're starting to get that, that kind of northern stink, that fish stink. But just time to upgrade and, and get a new pair. So freshies, but we're going to keep these just in case. I like these both on hot, hot days as well as cold mornings and cold days because they do a pretty good job of keeping my hands, just that little layer, keeping them warm, but uh, also give you all the dexterity. I'll give you the, 
the game worn view here. But these leather palms, grippy, never have any issues. They're lightweight, they're super thin, they dry super fast, and uh, you get the full function. So I don't know, they're, to me, the best fishing gloves that I've used thus far. Going through this box, I should remind you that uh, there will be links to Arsenal Fishing down below. They are a partner of the stream, but I do use their products and I don't like push stuff that I don't use. But there is a code HELLABASS15 and you can hook yourself up a little savings and get you some if there's anything you'd like. This I'm kind of excited because like what good angler, fisherman, outdoorsman doesn't love a good hoodie? <clears throat> and so I got this new like, I guess it's kind of a black and gray. Arsenal fishing, but kind of like that patriotic look. We're gonna go ahead and maybe we'll model this right now because uh, even in the summer up here up north, there's always cool nights and cool mornings. Like you start the day with shorts and oftentimes a hoodie, but this is kind of a, a lightweight, not super heavy. This is definitely perfect for those like 50, 60 degree mornings when it's gonna get up to 80 in the afternoon. Uh, good looking hoodie. We just uh, try it on quick. Should be the extra large. There you go. Nice hood, like a hood, visor, hood. Time to go catch some bass. When I dumped out all those swim jigs, I missed them at first, but I ordered a bunch of these chartreuse deadly nedleys. These are tungsten. I grabbed three packs of the eight in the chartreuse. And if you've never tried a bright chartreuse head like this for jig worming or Ned rig, you might be missing out. Ordered these with the two watt eighth ounce. Let's just open one of these packs real quick just to take a look at them. Come on, that nice little card there. But there it is. Nice little strong hook, much stronger than a lot of the hooks out on the market. I'm gonna show what it looks like on one of the, actually the Arsenal Ned baits that I've purchased in the past. I'm actually kind of a fan of this, but we'll just thread it up on there. Try to get it straight here on the first shot. Got that little wire keeper. There you go, that's what it looks like on the Arsenal Ned. Nice little wiggler. Nice, I like that little bit of hook, it actually, Eighth ounce is printed right on the head. I don't know if you can see that, but that's always nice when you're sorting your tackle, be able to see like, oh, you know, when you dump that tackle box out and you're like, <laughs> where you don't, things, the little dividers come out and things get mixed up. It's nice to be able to see printed on the head. That's it for this arsenal. They've definitely got some new products coming out soon and I'll be showing those off in the near future. But if you wanna get some swim jigs, check out a future live stream. we will be showing some of these off and giving some out to you guys. As we get the boat ready for the tournament coming up, if you're interested in tournament videos, make sure you check out this recent tournament video on the screen right here.